previously on Heartland. Shabolsky horses, ancient Mongolian stock. The whole point of breeding these horses is to airlift a stud back to Mongolia. Attila's the first one to be shipped up. Hey, Attila. It smells like your family, doesn't it? And I know you don't want to leave them. Come here. Nice work. I came to tell you that I think that Adam is a cool guy, but I wish I hadn't invited him on a road trip with us. Why? Because man, there wasn't the right time to do this. Tim's been talking about team roping, and I thought maybe we could be partners. Maybe. Good for you, Jade. How's she supposed to get at his feet when you're yanking a steer lap? Well, my horse, he... It's not the horse. Don't blame the horse. You've been doing this all day. You're actually getting worse. <laughs> Who's laughing? What are you smiling about? None of you were doing any better. What is your problem today? Do I have to show you how to do this myself? I guess I do. Jack. Come on. You're flying, Lindy. Look at you. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm busy. <laughs> See who wants to say hi? Yeah. Is that Spartan? Yeah. Yeah, you can talk to him. He's soft. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you can pet with your feet, too. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but I have to get back to work. OK, OK. Right? You okay to put Lenny down for a nap? Yeah, sounds good. That's it. Look for your corner. Nice. Okay, good. Now circle him around. That's it. Amy Fleming. I'm Paula. Hi. Paula Westfield, Val's friend. Right, yeah, you're bringing a horse by next week. Actually, it has to be sooner. Holloway is an absolute disaster. Holloway? My daughter's new jumper. Well, at least that's what he's supposed to be. Every time we try to saddle him, he starts jumping around like a lunatic. It could be ulcers or even back pain. No, my vet already ruled those out. We need to nip this in the bud, like, now. It's just, I booked the week off to spend with my husband. Oh. Well, I, uh, I don't want to impinge on your family holiday, but I spent a small fortune on this horse. He has incredible bloodlines. If you can't make time for him, I guess I'll take him elsewhere. Just... We have a small baby, so it's not like I'm going to be getting far anyway. I could work with one horse. Fantastic. Thank you. Dylan. Yeah, I need you to get Holloway over to Heartland ASAP. No, whatever you're doing, this is more important. Trust me. <laughs> On another matter, I'm having a little barbecue at my place this weekend. I do it once a year for the equestrian community. Val says you made quite a splash at the Sandstone Classic in Okotoks. You should come by. Uh, you too. Yeah. Um, I mean, if sure. Amy wants to. Great. I'll add your names to the guest list. Ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? What was that? What? You didn't set him up properly. How was I supposed to get to his feet? I put that steer right where you needed him to be. You flat out missed. 
Okay, that's it for today. Everybody go home. What do you think that was on the phone? Did you hear the way she was talking to him? Probably some poor stable hand. <laughs> She is something else, and I can't believe we agreed to go to her little barbecue. Oh, trust me, there's nothing little about it. She puts it on every year. It's this big, lavish, over-the-top party. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh, a friend of Val's from the English community. She's a little bit of a diva. Well, she is a friend of Val's. Yeah, and adamant that I work with her horse immediately. Ty, I'm so sorry. I know. It's OK. It's all right. These things come up, you know? Yeah. I'll try. I'll get it. I want to spend some time with her. OK. And if that horse comes, just throw him in one of the back pens. Sure. <sighs> Whatever. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's just my friend Wyatt. We were supposed to go for lunch, and now he says he only has half an hour. Hmm. You've been spending a lot of time with Wyatt? No, not lately, not since. Since what? It, it, it's nothing. It's just, boys are dumb. Hi. My name's Dylan. You got to name to go with those big brown eyes? It's Georgie. Nice to meet you. So, what do you want me to do with this guy? The back pens. They're this way. You okay? Yeah. I'm good. Crazy, isn't he? With him? I mean, he can be pretty demanding, but he doesn't usually lose it on us like that. And... But he was right. I sucked. That's not true. Well, not completely. Tommy Strait. You could use a little work. OK, a lot of work. I don't know what to do. I, I can't just ask Tim for extra one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> not the way he's acting. I could give you a few pointers. I mean, if you want me to. Really? You wouldn't mind? Not at all. I can meet up this afternoon or something. OK, I guess it couldn't hurt. Cool. All right, see you later. Hey. Hey, bud. Check this out. Look at this. Everyone loves these photos I posted from the Gopher Museum. Yeah, it was a great day. Yeah, I know, right? The pool hall diorama was classic. The hair salon, the bank heist. Barbecue was cool, too. Yeah. Jack really knows how to grill a steak, huh? I wasn't talking about the steaks. Hey. What's up, Bronk Buster? What you doing? Uh, not much. I was just going to grab a bite. Great. You should uh, sit with us. Uh, I don't want a third wheel or anything. No, no, that's, that's fine. We have to show you our Torrington photos. Yeah. OK, wait. Wait. Look at that. Oh, my god, that's insane. Yeah. Check out the next one. Come on, Holloway. Come on. Come on. Go over the jump. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. I've been at this for a while. Yeah. Paula said that he freaks out as soon as a rider gets on him, so I thought I would see how he does on the ground first. And? Apparently not much better. I think I need to get on and ride him. Are you sure he's ready for that? I'll know better when I get a saddle on him. 
I got it. Thanks. Oh, I better run. I gotta get back to the rodeo grounds. Well, uh, is that the time? Wow, I, I uh, should head out also. So oh, I will well, see you guys later. Do you want to do something tomorrow? Like go on a trail ride or something? Yeah, sure. I'll text Adam and Olivia, see if they're up for it. I mean, I thought, I meant just the two of us. Yeah, OK. That sounds good. Tomorrow. Peace. That was extremely awkward. What's going on? Wish I knew. Well, did something happen? OK, it's not a big deal. But we kissed. Like a peck? OK, well, that's huge. I know. And then why has he been avoiding me ever since? And whenever we're together, he just acts like we're all buddy-buddy and it never happened. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I think you just have to talk to him. Did that guy just, what's that? Hey, Georgie, right? Uh, I'm, I'm Dylan. Sorry, this is, this is my friend Jade. It's nice to meet you. Decent coffee here? Who is that? Weren't we talking about Wyatt? Wyatt who? OK, um, I really have to go, but we'll talk about Wyatt and that guy later. Sure it's not ulcers? Yeah, Paula said she had her vet check them out. Well, you're not getting on them, not like this. You're right. You're usually a lot tougher to convince. Well, I don't think I'm going to try and jump him. You mean like now or ever? I'm not sure, but from what I've seen, I don't think it's a good idea. So you really think you can't work with this horse, hey? I didn't say that. I want to keep working with him, but I'm going to try something different. Easy. All right. Hey, Dad. Wait, shouldn't I be practicing roping the horns? No, you have that down. The problem is you're turning too quickly. Yeah, but it's a timed event. Yeah, but if you rush, your horse will decle left, then the steer's out of position for the healer. You try too hard to be fast, and you'll end up losing time. So don't think quick, think smooth. OK. So I'll release the steer, and instead of going left, just follow him in a straight line, and I'll rope his feet. That's it? For now. You need to practice patience. Exactly, let's go again. Okay, that's it. Good job, Holloway. Okay, moment of truth. Hey, Dad. Hey. Thanks for coming and checking him out. Yeah, well, I was coming anyway for dinner, so I want to see the baby. So let's get it over with, see what he's got. What do you think? Explosive. <laughs> Got a real upside. Nice bronc. Yeah, except he's not. He's a jumper. It's not a jumper, Amy. I know. This is what he was born to do. He absolutely loves it. But that's the last thing his owner wants to hear. I, I'll get her. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you go be with your jumper. Thanks, Dad. Okay. 
You did so good. We're gonna play helicopter because I know you like helicopters. Okay, okay. okay. You okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were playing helicopter. I think it's. I think it's time somebody needs a change. Yeah. So. Thanks, Dad. Hey. You're okay. Are you tired? We had to scale a steep ridge to get to him. It was amazing how fast the wolf could travel with a bullet in his hip. Well, did you get it out in time? Yeah. It was touch and go for a bit, but Sorry, I'm we late. did it. Long practice session. Practice? What does that mean? Me and Avery. Just the two of you? Yeah, we started with this one drill where I tied my rope around the steer's horns, and then What? We, we tied the rope around the steer's horns. Can't do that, Jade. You don't put a rope around a steer's horns unless you hit your target. There's no shortcuts. It wasn't a shortcut. It was a training exercise. It was stupid, and you probably set yourself back further. Why wouldn't you ask me? I'm your coach. I don't get it. Today, you were all over us for not putting in enough effort, and now you're ticked off because we had an extra practice session? I can't win with you. She's got a point, Tim. You were pretty tough on those guys today. And you have to remember, these kids are still learning, honey. Yeah, you need to chill out. Uh, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. All of you think you know how to run my rodeo school better than I do? You do? You? You? Even Caleb, who's at some two-bit rodeo trying to last three seconds, you all think you can do it better, right, huh? Who needs me? Come on. Oh, what do you need me for? Tim. OK. Well, thanks for letting me know. Please, call whenever you need to. OK. Bye. What was that about? Attila. He's having some respiratory problems. It can happen after long flights. Is he going to be OK? I don't know. I mean, they're pretty worried about him. They offered to fly me out there. Are you serious? That's a pretty expensive vet call. That's what I said. Pretty sure I can help them from here, so. I just hate to think of Attila suffering in any way. He's been through so much. I know. Hey, Jack, are you here? Yeah, come on in. Well, hello. Hi. Look, we need to talk to you about Tim. Yeah, he's been a nightmare lately. Let me pour you coffee. I first noticed that something was up when we were on the road. Yeah, well, he never did love long drives. No, I know. Just trust me, but this is different. He was just, he was snapping at me for no reason. I mean, I was on eggshells the whole time. And you've seen him at the school. He's been the exact same way. And what was that last night over nothing? I mean, I have never seen him like this before. Neither have I. And I know Tim can be difficult sometimes, but the way he's been acting is just, I don't know, it just, it feels mean. And I ask him what's going on and he just gets defensive. <sighs> Do you have any idea where this is coming from? Okay. He does seem a little off. Now, I've seen, well, I just hope some old habits aren't coming back. Well, would you mind having a talk with him? He might open up to you. You won't believe this party I got invited to. Why? What kind of party is it? It's a barbecue with all the top jumpers. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Congrats. <laughs> Not. It's being thrown by this richy rich lady in her fancy mansion. It's gonna be all champagne fountains and barbecue caviar. I don't think you barbecue caviar. <sighs> Whatever. It's it's gonna be super pretentious, okay? <laughs> and super funny. I'm glad you think so, because I want you to go with me. Yeah, sure. That sounds hilarious. Great. Um, then it's the date. Uh yeah. <laughs> yes, sure. OK, OK. I want to test out my new riding skills. I'll race you. I'll race you across this uh, field. Actually, I was kind of hoping we could, you know, talk about what's happening with us. You're scared. You're scared I'm going to beat you. Well, you should be, because I am. Yeah! 
I was excited to get your call. I want to show you what Holloway can do. That sounds promising, but why isn't he in the jumping ring? Well, I don't really know how to say this, so I'm just going to come out with it. I, I don't think that Holloway is a jumper, at least not at the level you're hoping for. What are you talking about? That's what he was bred to do. I know, but sometimes, no matter what a horse is bred to do, they have a mind of their own. And what exactly does Holloway think he is? <sighs> a bronc. A rodeo animal? I, I just need you to check this out. Uh, no, I don't need to see anything. Get him out of this pen this instant. You know, I can only imagine the damage you've already caused. If anything happens to my suspension, you'll be paying for it, old man. You better not have brought me all the way out here to help you grease a hay bind. No, I didn't. So what, you just want to drone on about dinner last night? No. Well, yeah, actually. That's part of it. You've been awful edgy lately, and everyone's noticed. Oh, so you're all talking behind my back. Well, I did have a chat with Jade and Casey this morning. There yeah. you go, riling everybody up. They came to me. And you just jumped in and piled on. Hey, they've never seen you like this before, but I have. Oh, you're accusing me of something. Moods, your temper, the sunglasses. I'm just saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. I haven't had a drink for five years, or so much as a baby aspirin. Believe me, dealing with your BS every day, it hasn't made it easy. I'm a clean machine, Jack. So forget your intervention or any other crap you have planned. I can't believe that woman. She totally just blew off my advice. Well, that's her loss. No, Holloway's the one that loses in all this. Paula's gonna keep forcing him to be something he's not, and then when she finally realizes he's not a jumper, then what? Well, maybe you should go back to her, try speaking her language. What do you mean? Lay out how much she could make with him as a bronc. A horse that expensive has gotta pay for himself somehow. It's actually a pretty good idea. Maybe I'll go to that barbecue after all. I got an update about Attila. He's getting worse, and they want you to go? Yeah. And they offered to pay for you to join me. Are you serious? For how long? About a week. Mongolia. Why not? Really? <laughs> yeah. We would have to talk to Grandpa and Lisa and see if they could look after Lindy. It would be hard to leave her for a week, but spending some time with them would be good for her. Yeah. You're right. I think Lindy will be fine. Are you sure, though? Hi. When there's an opportunity like this that's paid for, we should take it. We would never go on an adventure like this on our own. Plus, I get to see the famous Dr. Borden in action. <laughs> OK. We're going to Mongolia, then. Yeah. Together. <laughs> I want to say I'm sorry, all right? I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. I believe you, 100%. But if it ain't booze or pills, just I want to know what's going on. Maybe I can help. I don't need your help. Well, you can't keep whatever this is all bottled up inside. What are you, a therapist now? <laughs> just happened there, but you need to get checked out. I did already. 
You expect me to believe that? Ask for Annie. I'm going back to see her this afternoon. What exactly are you seeing her about? I'm just, it's nothing. I'm having headaches. I'm dizzy. The light is really bugging my eyes. My hands are numb all the time. Well, that doesn't sound like nothing to me. What did she say about it? She made me get an MRI. I'm pretty sure it's just all the concussions I took in the rodeo. Are you getting results today? I don't know. We'll see. You, please, you can't mention this to anybody, OK? Not a word, especially not Casey. All right. Really? OK, no, I, I understand. Okay, thank you. Bye. What's wrong? Lisa can't do it? No, it's not that. It's my passport. It's expired. What? I haven't used it in so long, I forgot to check. They're getting me an emergency renewal, but it's going to take a few days. Okay. We'll just leave as soon as you get it. No, Ty. Attila needs you now. I'll join you, but you need to go. Are you sure? I need the time to get Lindy ready anyway. It'll all work out. Well, I, I kind of wanted us to fly together, you know? Ty, we're still doing this. It's going to be amazing, right? Right. <laughs> Look amazing. You look so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, it's just I'm kind of mad at Wyatt. I thought he'd come pick me up like a real date, but instead we're meeting him there. He's just been so cold lately. I have a feeling that dress might warm him up. We'll be using $100 bills for napkins. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a great dress. Thanks. Well, hello. This is a nice surprise. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is... This is Wyatt. Hi. Nice to meet you. You have to meet my daughter. Uh, Peyton. Come here, please. This is Amy Fleming. Hi. Oh, hi. And Georgie. She's riding Val Stanton's horse, Flame. Why don't you uh, introduce her around to the other girls? OK. Come on. Don't worry about me. Just, OK, I'll mingle. Holla, thank you for inviting me. I really wanted the chance to talk to you about Holla. Oh, I'm sorry. Will you excuse me? Did you see her hair was like a hat drop? It's like a dog chewed it off. Can I Lainey? Me, Georgie. Oh, you were in Okotoks, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, it was a nice show. 
Seriously, it was so budget. I didn't even bother going this year. I was at a show in the south of France. <sighs> See, that must have been nice. The Belgium circuits are way better, and the stables to die for. So how do you two know each other? Oh, we just met. Her trainer is one who's been working with my horse. Oh, you mean the one who thought he should be a rodeo bronc? <laughs> Come on, be nice. I always fancied Holloway as more of a chuck wagon type. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was nice to meet you guys. Um, I should find my friend, though. <laughs> Where did you come from? My mom. I'll see you. See ya. Hey, you. Having fun? Uh, I mean, yeah, but it, it's pretty lame. I know, right? Come on, have a seat. We can hide out here for a while. So, not your scene, huh? Nah, not really. I just met Paula's prissy little daughter, Peyton, and her friends. Yeah, Peyton can be a handful. Always some kind of drama with her. Wears me out. Are you and Peyton friends or something? Um, <laughs> no, um, she's my cousin. Oh. Oh, so that, that means Paula's your... Yep. She's my dear auntie. Moved out here a year ago to live with them. Needed a change of scenery. Oh, I, I always just, I thought. I was just some sibling. No, I just. <laughs> it's OK. I'll take that as a compliment. It means I don't have that patented Westfield stick up the butt aura. <laughs> oh, here you are. Wyatt, I, I've been looking everywhere for you. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. I have to go. Wyatt, where are you going? What was that? Nothing. Really? That's Paula's nephew. He's been to the ranch a couple times. Well, I see that you guys have become friendly. Why do you even care? You've been avoiding me ever since we kissed. Yeah, we kissed. You kissed me, and ever since, you've been pretending like it never even happened. No, that's not. I'm sorry. I know that I've been acting a little weird lately. Why? What's going on? The truth is, is that I want you to be my girlfriend. Then why? Because it's complicated, OK? There's this girl back in Calgary, and she sort of thinks that she's my girlfriend. Why would she think that? Because she was. And, and technically, she still is, because I haven't exactly broken up with her yet. What? I just don't know how to do it, OK? That's, I, I'm terrible with that kind of thing. I feel totally played by no, you. No, Georgie, it's not like that, OK? Listen. No, stop. Stop, just go. That kiss meant something to me, too, you know? my call last night. Long day. I just hit the stack early. Uh, excuse me. Ah. Jack, hey, uh, I'll take the horse. Can you get this stuff? Casey? So did you talk to him? Yeah, I did. And? Well, he says he's not drinking, and I believe him. Well, that's relief. So what's this all about, then? It's been busy lately. You know how he gets. He'll come around. Well, I hope you're right. For his sake and everyone else's. OK, let's get it right this time, Jade. Let's keep it fluid. You got it? Still got a little room for improvement, but got a bright future. OK, everybody, great start. Let's stay in the groove. Thank you. 
Nico. I've been ready to go since we got here, but I still haven't had a chance to talk to Paula yet. Let me try one more time. Okay, I'll be in the truck. I was so thrilled that you could make it again this year. Did you happen to see where we expanded the property? Paula. Oh. Sorry, can I talk to you for a moment? Excuse me, just one moment. Thank you. I want to apologize. I should have never sprung the idea of Holloway being a bronc on you. I'm glad you realized what a ridiculous notion that was. No, I, I still stand by it. He's definitely more of a bucking horse than a jumper. Okay. Please, please, just hear me out. I know that this isn't what you want to hear. I'm sure you have high hopes for Holloway, but do you know how much money he could make as a bronc? What are you talking about? Well into the six figures, and that's at every rodeo season. You don't expect me to f ferry him around that circuit, do you? No, I have connections. And if you wanted, you could sell him to a stock contractor for a pretty good profit. I should get back to my guests. Let me think about this, okay? Thanks. I'll be back before you know it, okay, sweetheart? Yeah, come here. You come here. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you like I always do. It's okay. It's okay. But I got a trick this time, Mindy. Every morning, I'm gonna watch the sun rising. And I'm gonna imagine it sitting here at Heartland. And I'm gonna picture you all cuddled up with your lammy, drifting off to sleep. And when that same sun goes down at night, <laughs> I'll picture your smiling face waking up to start the new day. Okay. I love you, sweetheart. missed your appointment. Oh, I'm sorry about that. The day got away from me. I've been trying to call you. Well, like I said, I was busy. This is too important to avoid, Tim. Well, I already know what you're going to say, Trish. I, I did some reading about post-concussion syndrome. I get it. There's not much you can do about it. I'm just going to have to live with the symptoms. That's just the way it is. If something showed up on your MRI. There seems to be a shadow. A sh shadow? What does that mean? It means it's a tumor. A tumor? Mm-hmm. I have cancer. I didn't say it was cancer. You said tumor. And it could be completely benign. Maybe it's something that's been there for a long time, but has absolutely nothing to do with your symptoms. What if it's not benign? How do you know? I want to do another MRI, oh. but that usually isn't conclusive on its own. OK, so then what? We'd need to go in and remove it. I have to warn you, there are some pretty big risks. That kind of surgery can cause other issues. It can affect your sight, your smell, taste. It can cause neural damage, partial okay, paralysis. Okay, I, I get it. But if it's cancer, Tim, it needs to come out as soon as possible. Look, I can line up a counselor for you to talk to, help you make the decision about the surgery, if it even comes to that. No, I don't need a counselor, Trish. I'm not going to risk my entire way of life on the chance that I might have cancer, and I'm not going to let anybody operate on my brain. No. 
No way. Okay, let's let's just take it one step at a time then. I trust that you're not gonna mention this. Not to Jade, not to Casey. Of course. Please. Trish? Yeah. Can I still drive? You don't know what this is, Tim. Use common sense. Just be careful. got to talk. No, we don't. That was Paula. She agreed. She's going to have Holloway trained as a saddle bronc. Nice job. I knew you could do it. And you, mister, are going to be late. You have a plane to catch. I know, I know. I just want to spend every last moment I can with my little girl. What about this girl? <laughs> I'll see you in a couple of days. I can't believe it. I am so excited. This is going to be an amazing adventure. <laughs> you ready to go? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. OK. Yes. Bye, Lindy. Bye bye, Daddy. All right. Bye. OK. Bye. OK. I'll see you in Mongolia. OK. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye, Dad. Sunshine sky